Hi, and welcome to another episode of Raja Talking Live. I continue talking about tinnitus and the solutions that I have tried for it. And today I wanted to talk about hearing aids. Uh, since I forgot to talk about it in my uh, last video about tinnitus treatments. And if anything I can tell you out of all the treatments and all the strategies that I have tried, I would highly recommend getting hearing aids if the tinnitus is caused by hearing loss. And since tinnitus causes and the pitches, the frequency, everything about it is personalized, then I would highly recommend that you go to an audiologist and have your hearing checked. And based on that, the audiologist would be able to advise you on the best device to get for your hearing, for your hearing loss. And it may as well help with your tinnitus. As for me, I did not get the hearing devices for quite some time because as you know, they are costly. So in Canada, they cost anywhere between 4,000 all the way up to 7,000 Canadian dollars. So I, I held off getting uh, the devices, particularly that I was hearing okay, like I did not feel I needed the hearing devices. But then after I learned more about how tinnitus work and the way the brain deals with it, and I will connect, uh, I will, sorry, link the video for you that I have released about the brain and how it deals with the tinnitus because I believe once you understand how the brain deals with the tinnitus and why you hear that sound, then you will go and get maybe, if it is affordable for you, uh, a hearing device. For me, I got it because as a neuroscientist, I know that the neurons in the brain in a certain area, if they do not fire, if they do, are not stimulated, then what happens over time, those neurons die. And I thought, okay, it's been going on for some time, that tinnitus, so probably I lost some neurons in my brain. So let me get some, <laughs> at this point, get some hearing devices. There is a wide variety of hearing devices. The audiologist would be the best to tell you which kind suits you well, because there are newer devices that have been released, and some of them you insert them inside the, the ear canal and no one can see them. And the way the hearing devices work is by am amplifying the background noise. So you are not paying attention that much to the sound in your head. And by doing so, you can then have some relief from tinnitus. Is it gonna work for everyone? No, that's not the case. There are some uh, hearing devices as well that have tinnitus masking sounds in them that you can try. However, I did not opt for this option because when the tinnitus go low, I don't wanna just hear anything. I know probably you can turn them off, but I didn't wanna deal with that hassle. And the hearing device that I got based on the audiologist recommendation was the one that you put behind the ears. So that's the one that I use now and it, it, it still takes some maintenance. So you need to clean, uh, change the filters. However, I think in the long run, it will be a good option. And of people benefit from masking the tinnitus using hearing aids. According to my audiologist, she mentioned that only 20% of people benefited from having a tinnitus masking sound in their hearing aids. 
so i really didn't opt for getting uh the kind of hearing aids that has as well tinnitus masking sounds however having said that it seems that 68 percent of people have found relief from getting hearing aids and the tinnitus got either less or it helped with it uh, with relieving it over time and they don't feel it as annoying as before. I just wanted to put that out there in order for you, if you're questioning whether you need to get a device with tinnitus masking sound or not. You know what? I took my chances. Again, they helped in the beginning and then after some time they did not. However, I continue to use them on most days in order for my brain to get used at the stimulation and receiving uh, more sounds from the background. So that's it. I also want to mention before I leave that I saw one audiologist, one hearing center here in Canada, that they had a device just for $500. I'm not sure if it's effective. I'm not sure uh, that it is the best device ever. However, if money is an issue and you do not have health coverage, then that may be an option that you can look into it. As well, I need to mention that the government of Ontario, I got them when I was still living in Ontario, pays $1,000 towards the cost of the hearing aids and the hearing aids uh, they can be paid for uh, every five years i believe in ontario i'm not sure if that's the case in other provinces but at least anything can help with the cost and hopefully that solution you is gonna help you try it because i think it is important to get hearing aids if there is hearing loss and that would be probably the best thing that can help with tinnitus. Thank you so much. Take care. Be blessed. Be kind. I'll talk to you in the next video. See you soon. Bye-bye.